What's good, YouTube? It's your boy One Sax Man, and I'm back with another video for you guys today. So remember, a few weeks ago when I kind of said something along the lines of this, but right now, if I were didn't buy the 1070 and I was waiting for the 480 to see what it did, I would just wait even more now with the notion that the 1060 is a few weeks away just to see what the 1060 has to offer because if it's the strongest of 480 with six gigs of VRAM and it overclocks how the 1070s and 1080s are, it's gonna be a better card. Yeah, that was part of the video response to my homie Jedi Knight from a few weeks ago when we were talking about my disappointment with the R480 and we were going back and forth with why my arguments may have been displaced or vice versa or whatever. Um, but it seems like that one thing I said it might that it might be good to wait for the 1060 was kind of spot on because NVIDIA released their GTX 1060 yesterday, um, which is the mid-range GPU uh, counterpoint to RX, uh, AMD RX, RX 480. And they do a good job of countering it in my opinion. Um, the price point is $299 for the Founders Edition and $299 for Board Partners. Although I gotta note that NVIDIA's Founders Edition for the 1060 is um, a limited time offer, so you probably won't even see that price point for that card after, I don't know, maybe a few months. So, but anyway, for the base price of $249, you get Board Partner, um, you get like GTX 980 performance, and NVIDIA does a good job to deliver. And for the most part, it delivers at the level, if not slightly above it. And that, But there were a few games that performed slightly lower. I cannot, I would be remiss if I didn't say that. Um, while it's not completely better than the 980, for 250, you can't beat it, um, really. And not to mention, as Jedi and I said with the RX 480, you know, driver updates and future optimizations will make the card even better. Um, the great thing about the card really is that, and I probably have to thank AMD for pushing NVIDIA's hand on this one definitely, is that day one there were $250 cards available and these were board partners. So I think NVIDIA really did a jo good job at countering AMD and making sure that its board partners were available for its mid-range card so that they wouldn't be stuck with the blower style which I'm kind of regretting I have now um, for, the 10, for the 1060. Um, the one thing I must note is that although um, it does perform better than the RX 480, which is more comparable to a GTX 970, I have I would note that in DirectX 12, while the 1060 does see a boost in performance because like a t like it seems that AMD um, AMD one takes X, come on let's go. It seems that Nvidia does support async compute. It doesn't get quite the boost that AMD does. Maybe it's the way that both um architectures handle um async compute i'm not quite sure i'm not the graphics card or like the computer specialist as far as this stuff i'm not in that i'm a musician not a like graphics card designer so um maybe it's the way they handle it but uh in dx12 games the rx480 does seem to catch up to the gtx 1060 but the GTX 1060 seems to get enough of a boost where it does still manage to stay ahead in most um, DirectX, or at least some DirectX 12 times from what I saw. Um, maybe it depends on the setup and how the CPU is used. I'm not quite sure. Like I said, this is not my ministry. Um, you can go look at Digital Foundry's video and a bunch of other articles they have about it. I don't know. Um, my one thing about this, everyone's saying, well, DirectX 12, DirectX 12, and... If you're buying a graphics card now, and especially in this price range, you're probably not going to go buy every new game that's DirectX 12 compatible for the next two years. You're probably going to be like me, even though I brought a higher graphics card, you're going to be buying the Humble Bundles, you're going to be buying some of the older AAA titles, especially if you missed out on them like I did. And you're going to be playing a lot of DirectX 11 games. And I feel like in the next three years, I don't think DirectX 12 will offer... Um, a significant boost in not a significant boost but let me see uh DirectX 12 will not offer a significant number of titles that really trounce the need to have a DirectX 12 compatible card in the near future so to me I think when you think of what kind of games you're going to be playing as well as uh, what features you need that's how you would make your decision as well as I guess the price but to me if you're looking in the range of the 
you shouldn't get the 4 gig RX 480 in my opinion. So if you're looking in the range of a graphics card and you're going between 230 was an extra $20 for a 1060. Um, one thing I would be remiss if I didn't mention is that NVIDIA also has other software features like Shadow Play and the game optimization stuff which automatically kind of cranks the settings up to what your card can handle, which to me is pretty damn useful. So, um, yeah, you have a lot when in regards to making a decision on a graphics card. I personally, for NVIDIA's features, I would pick the 1060. Um, that's just me. Um, I... But I would not. I would understand exactly why someone would pick the 480 because it's cheaper, especially if they for some reason decide to get the 4 gig version because they just couldn't go up to 230 or 250 or whatever. So, yeah. Um, only time will tell how these cards scale with DirectX 12. I feel like in the future we'll see that more. But I think if you're looking for a graphics card in mid range for the next year or two, then you probably shouldn't worry about DirectX 12 so much unless for somehow there's a big boom in that. But um, yeah, so I've been talking about graphics cards a lot over the last few weeks, so hopefully this is my last topic on graphics cards. I'm gonna go back to some other stuff. I have a few videos planned. I have some collabs working with some of my friends. Um, so definitely stay tuned as I try to bring more um, content to you guys. Like I said, I'm trying to stay away from the news thing too much. I'll probably still end up doing them, but I definitely want to get to some other content that seems to be original and not just based off of reading articles on uh, Polygon or something. Let me know what you guys think in reference to the two cards. What do you know about Async Compute DirectX 12? Um, what would you pick in this mid-range price point? Just let me know. In the description down below, one sex man out.